Hello everyone, it's Enigma here, and welcome to yet another top 10 video on my channel. And today, we're going to be doing the top 10 absolute worst Smash Brothers uh, stages that I absolutely hate playing on. So these are going to be the stages that, you know, I just don't like playing on that are just, oh, uh, I can't stand them. Um, you know, there's very rare stages that, you know, I didn't really like. In fact, this list was actually pretty tough to make, but I, I managed to find 10 stages I just did not really like to play on, and I never have, and I probably never will. Um, now, if you see your favorite stages here, please don't hate me. This is just my opinion. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I just want to clarify that. I like to clarify that at the beginning of all my top 10 videos because a lot of people just don't understand the concept of an opinion, and it drives me crazy. Um, anyways, um, this is from a casual player's perspective. So I'm not like some sort of like competitive like, huge competitive players saying that, like, all all stages in Smash Brothers are terrible except for the uh, Final Destination and Battlefield. Like, that's not what I'm doing. I'm talking about the stages that I just, like, can't... Ah, I, I like, I'm a casual player, okay? I, I, I really am a casual player. Like, sometimes I'll play Final Destination or Battlefield, but for the most part, I am casual. So, this is from a casual player perspective. I just want to clarify that. Um, I think I've pretty much said everything I need to say, so... These are, like, the worst stages from the series. Like, I just... Yeah. Anyways, uh, let's go on to number 10... At the number 10 spot. And at my number 10 spot, I have Jungle Japes from Melee. Now, this... This, uh, was almost close to not be in the list, but the reason why I included it is because I can't stand the water in this uh, in this stage. I feel like the water is really broken, and you know, like, like if I'm trying to like spike someone, say I'm trying to like spike someone, and I accidentally fall in the water, it's so hard to get back to the stage because it's like the water is pushing you so fast, and it's like it's really hard. Now I. I did kind of like the stage a little more in the original version, but when, uh, because, because in the original version, you didn't get pushed down, it was just considered, like, a death spot, so it's basically kind of like that. Uh, but, uh, the Brawl, Smash 4, and Ultimate version, you know, it pushes you to the, like, to the left of the stage. Uh, so it's kind of supposed to let you recover, but it's like it's so hard because I feel like the water is just so broken I mean the water isn't even moving that fast, but yet we're like moving faster than the water. So it's like I feel like the water is pretty broken in the stages, but Really that's really only the reason the only reason why I put it here um that and just because, you know, I the the stage just looks a little bare bones to me. It's just, this is probably going to be one of the last stages I'll pick if I'm ever, like, trying to, like, just play a match. Like, Jungle Deep just seems really boring to me. And I'm sorry if anyone likes this stage, but it's just, like, I, I just don't have fun playing on this stage. That But that's just my opinion. Um... Anyways, let's go on to the number 9 spot. And at my number 9 spot, I have New Pork City from Brawl. Now, I can't stand playing on New, on New Pork City. Because the stage probably is the biggest stage in all of... Actually, that's wrong. We will get to that stage in a, in a few... Uh, spots later uh and you guys will know what stage that is when we get to it but this this stage is probably the second biggest stage in all of smash brothers you know it's just it's just really hard to fight on you know and and because of how big the stage is um and because of how big the stage is it's really hard to ko someone because this whole game is about fighting people, but if it's so hard to fight people, you already know that's going to be a bad stage. Because I'm trying to, you know, KO people by, you know, 
throwing them off the ledge, you know, trying to KO them. But the fact that New Pork City is just so big, it's just hard because, like, sometimes I feel like I might actually KO someone, and I just don't. I will get a, an opponent's damage up to, like, 300%, and they still won't be dead. Like, seriously, I've tried to, like, KO people before, and it just takes so long to do on this stage. And, you know, the Chimera, you know, enemy that shows up on the stage is also pretty broken. Because, like, literally, it's like a one-hit KO. Even if you're, like, at 0%, one bite from him will literally instant KO you. That is, like, so broken. And I don't know why that is. I feel like the most damage it should do is just a little knockback damage. Not freaking instant KOing you. Like, that's, uh, it's insane and, you know... It's just not really that fun. It's just, I really don't like playing on New Pork City. Um, it's just, it's just not fun to me. Um, other than that, like, I really can't think of much else to say, but, yeah, New Pork City is definitely at the number nine spot, for sure. Um, anyways, let's go on to the number eight spot, and at my number eight spot, I have, uh, Mushroomy Kingdom from Brawl, aka World 1-1. So, I, 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 I really don't like this state. I really don't like this stage because moving stages just don't work with me in, in, in Brawl. I just, it's just hard to keep up. It's like, it's hard to multitask when it comes to this game. It's because... The, the, the objective of this game is to KO people and, you know, rack up damage and KO people and stuff like that. But the fact that a stage is moving at the, at the same time, it's just hard to keep up because, like, you're also trying to survive because, you know, the stage is moving. Um... Now, before this stage was ever in Brawl, I thought it would be really cool to see a stage like this. But it's like, now that it's incorporated, it just does not execute that well. Um, and, you know, it just, it just really doesn't work. Now, I do like the other Mushroom Kingdom stages. And that's because, you know, it just, it just doesn't feel like as bare bone as this. Like, it's just really boring to play on the stage. And, you know, it just... I, and the fact that it's like, I feel like this stage moves pretty fast, a little bit. It's just, this stage is just not really that fun to play on, in my opinion. It's just, but yeah, that's that's my number eight spot, for sure. Um, anyways, let's go on to my number seven spot. And at my number seven spot, I have Pac-Land from Smash 4. Now, Pac-Land is just... Uh, I, I really, I really preferred Pac Maze over Pac Land. Because, you know, you have to just keep up. It's just, like, it, I kind of hate the stage for the same reasons I do for World 1-1. One -one. It's just that, you know, it's just hard to keep up. It's just hard to multitask. Like, I just don't like moving stages. You know, I just, they just aren't my thing. And, you know, Pac Land is just really... Like, I like the design of Pac-Land. I will say that. I do kind of like the design. But it's like, Pac-Land, like, they did get their design for Pac-Man from the Pac-Man games. But the fact that, you know, they incorporated Pac-Land as a stage is just, nah, nah. It just does not work. Like, Pac-Maze best represents the Pac-Man series, in my opinion. But Pac-Land, it's just really boring to play on. It's just, I never really liked playing this stage, and I probably never will. Um, I honestly don't have much to say about number 7, because the same reasons why I didn't like number 8 is the same reasons why I don't like number 7. So, yes, Pac-Land is definitely number 7, for sure. Anyways, let's go on to the number six spot. And at my number six spot, I have Icicle Mountain from Melee. Now, this stage is really boring to play on to me. It's just, it's hard to keep up with the stage when it's moving. Again, it's, it's like, instead of moving from side to side, though, it's moving from up to down, which, in my opinion, I think that's a lot worse because, you know, sometimes, like, there's going to be obstacles in the way, so it doesn't, it won't even 
feel like you're playing Smash Brothers. It's gonna feel more like you're playing some some sort of platforming game, and that's and it's gonna be a real struggle. And you know, the ice physics are also bad because sometimes you know I just wanna like run and dash into someone, but it's like the ice physics hold me back because they slide me into like some sort of obstacle that I didn't want to hit. And, you know, it's just really annoying to play on, and, you know, it's definitely one of my least favorites from Melee. Um, it does make sense why that stage hasn't returned. It's because that stage just is not fun, and I just, I hated that stage. I hated it. Um, but yeah, Icicle Mountain is definitely my least favorite stage from Melee. Like, it, it definitely is my least favorite. I, I'm glad it hasn't really returned in the other Smash games, because it's just like... Th this stage just was not fun to me. It just, it just wasn't. <laughs> um, anyways, let's go on to the number 5 spot. And at my number 5 spot, I have Rumble Falls from Brawl. So basically, some things... From what I said from Icicle Mountain, apply to Rumble Falls as well, except the ice physics are not in this stage. Now, people might be like, Enigma, how is this stage ranked higher than Icicle Mountain, even though the ice physics are not here? It's because the obstacles in this stage are very overpowered, because... It, just one touch from one of the obstacles in this stage will literally instant KO you for like literally no reason. And you know, this stage is very fast at times for like no reason. Like sometimes the stage will just go really fast. And it's just, again, it's hard to keep up because it's like I'm trying to rush in on the opponents and trying to attack them. But when this stage is moving, it's hard to keep up with this because it's like I can't keep up with, you know, the stage, like, like, Rumble Falls is just, you know, not that fun in my opinion, it's basically just, I hate moving stages, I really do, and they're just, uh, I really hate them, um, Rumble Falls is definitely one of my least favorite stages in Brawl, and, you know, I'm glad it hasn't returned, at least I don't think so, I haven't seen it in Ultimate, uh, but, you know, thank God it's not, uh, in the other Smash games, because I just absolutely loathe the stage. I hate it. I hate it. When I, when I see this stage on the stage selection screen, and, you know, or I see it in classic mode, I'm just going to, like, Ugh. Like, I hate this stage. But, anyways, let's go on to the number four spot, and at my number four spot, I have the Great Cave Offensive from Smash 4. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw this in Smash 4, I was like, this looks like a really cool stage. Until they zoomed out the whole stage in a beat New Pork City in terms of the biggest stages in all of Smash Brothers. Yeah, this stage is huge. Now, there's no, I don't think there's any sidelines. I think there's like a few sidelines that you can die from, but for the most part, the way you can kill opponents is by, you know, KOing them through, you know, fire. But, this is a bad idea, because if you have 100% damage, it's instant KO. Literally, because if you just touch a fire at 100% damage, you, you, the character will just explode and you will lose a stock or you'll just d die. Like, it's just not fair and it's just, you know, I hated this stage. I hated it. You know, like, I, I now, in Ultimate, it's a bit better because, you know, in Ultimate, you know, you can choose Final Destination or Battlefield. But it's just like, in Smash 4, it just was not fun in my opinion. It's just, you know, the fire was so OP. The stage is so large. And, you know, I, this is just not a stage I'll, I'll choose for, you know, you know, if I want, like, like, this is just not a stage I'll choose. And the Great Cave Offensive is definitely one of my least favorite stages in all of Smash Brothers. And it's definitely my least favorite Smash 4 stage. I just... I hated this stage. I hated it. And, you know, I'm, and why did this stage return in Ultimate? Like, seriously, this stage was just not good, in my opinion. Like, seriously. Anyways, let's go on to the number three spot. And at my number three spot, I have Hannonbow from Brawl. Now, 
this stage is weird. Like, this stage is so weird. Like, like, there's leaves and stuff. Now, if you guys don't know, this stage comes from the game Electroplankton, which is a game from the DS era. And we all know how big the DS was back then. Like, it was pretty huge. I think it was, like, the biggest selling uh, handheld console for Nintendo at that time was the DS. So, obviously, including, like, some software from DS games, um, you know, into, into the game isn't really big of a surprise. I mean, we got Pico Chat as a stage in, in Smash. But Hand and Bow was another stage they chose as, you know, representation for the DS era. And honestly, the execution was absolutely terrible. And honestly, I don't even think Electroplankton was even successful at all. You know, I don't even think a lot of people really liked that game. So the fact that it was represented at, in Smash at all is very surprising to me. Because, you know, this stage really isn't fun to begin with. Because, you know, there's hardly any platforms. The only platforms that are in this stage are leaves. And did I tell you that there's no music in this stage? No, there's no music. Now, the point, the, like, the main com concept of this stage is to, like, make music with the leaf pedals. But we're, this is Smash Brothers, not a music-making game. You know, if I want to make music, I would just go to the, get the game. You know, you don't have to advertise it in, you know, Smash Brothers. I can just get the game and play it there. But... The fact that, you know, Hand and Bow is represented at all is surprising to me. Uh, it's just, it's just not a fun stage to play on. And the water, like, for some reason, you can swim in every other water in this game. With, with no exceptions. Like, you can swim in water in this, in Brawl. But, in, in this stage, you can just not swim in the water. Which is like, why... Can we not, why can't we not swim in this water, but we can swim in the other stages? Like, what? Like, this stage was just, you know, not fun. Now, I will be honest, I do like the design of the stage. I think the, I think the stage looks pretty pretty, honestly, but th this stage is just not fun to play on, and, you know, why did the stage return in Ultimate? Like, when I first saw the stage in Ultimate, I was just so surprised. I thought the stage would never return, but the fact that it did, is just, what? Like, seriously, that was a huge surprise to me, and, you know, I'm just, I'm, I just, this is just not a stage I'll choose if I'm going into a casual match. Like, seriously, this is just not the stage. Um... But yeah, that's really all I have to say for Han and Bo. Um, so yeah. Anyways, let's go on to the number two spot. And at my number two spot, I have 70, 75M from Brawl. This stage sucks. <laughs> this stage sucks. Now, the platforms in this stage are so, so small. And... This stage is so big, for one. The, the platforms are so small, and, and you know, there's just so much going on in this stage. It's just so hard to focus what the hell I'm doing. It's because, you know, sometimes, you know, I just want to, like, jump up and, like, you know, jump up and hit an opponent. But sometimes, you know, I'll accidentally go up a ladder, and I don't want to do that, and it's just so annoying. And, like, that is what messes me up. You know, if I'm trying to just jump and, you know, attack opponent, like, attack an opponent in the air, and instead I just go on the ladder and just walk up, it's like, no, I didn't want to do that, and then that's just what messes me up. It's just, it's just not fun to play on this stage. There's also an 8-bit Donkey Kong that appears, and what he'll do is, like, he'll, he'll, like, he'll, like, summon, like, Bouncing trampolines, which is kind of a reference to, you know, the original Donkey Kong, but it's it's just like, you know, I do understand why they wanted to include a stage, you know, they wanted to reference something from the original Donkey Kong, and that's pretty cool, but the fact that yeah, it just, the execution just does not work well at all, and again, 
Like I say for the ups other obstacles for the stage, I think this these obstacles are pretty overpowered. I mean, just touching the Donkey Kong will literally instant KO you. It just... This stage just does not work well as a stage. What they should have done to represent, you know, an original Donkey Kong stage was represent, you know, what, 100M. Because that stage, I feel like, would fit better as a stage. But 75M just does not work as a stage, in my opinion. It doesn't, it just, it just doesn't. You know, it just, I, oh, I absolutely loathe this stage. And, you know... This stage would be the worst stage in, you know, all of Smash Brothers if it wasn't for number one. Number one is the stage I absolutely despise playing on. I hate it. And, you know, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will agree with me on this stage. So, without further ado, let's just go on to the number one spot. And at my number one spot, I have Mario Brothers from Brawl. I hate this stage. I hate it. I hate this stage. Now, this stage is, without a doubt, in my opinion, the worst stage in all of Smash Brothers. This stage sucks, and I'm gonna talk about why. First of all, this stage, like, literally, this stage, like, just does not, like, it's so hard to jump in this stage because the platforms are so close to each other, similar to the Mario Brothers stages. And as a stage, it doesn't work well. Now, it, that wouldn't be such a problem if you were able to, you know, jump up and, you know, like, you kind of are, like, transparent through the platform, similar to the other stages. But... It just does not work. It just, you know, it doesn't work. And, like, for some reason, I just can't jump over the platform. You know, it's just so hard. Like, I have to go around to jump on the platform. And, you know, there's also, like, this POW block where you can, like, you know, like, KO an enemy and, like, okay. I guess this is what influenced the POW block item, I, I guess. Um, But, without a doubt, the worst part of this stage is the freaking shell creepers that appear in this stage. Holy crap. These things are so freaking overpowered. I know I have said many, oh, I, I, I know I said many things are overpowered in the other, and in, in, you know, the other Smash games, but this is overpowered. Like, literally, like, I actually think it's oh, I like I'm I'm li I'm literally you know convinced that this is so overpowered to the point where it's actually kind of you know where I actually think it's like a glitch or something because literally one hit towards the shell creepers literally like like I get pushed back so far like I, I like I can't even stop I can't even like slow down you know one hit from the shell creepers will literally like just KO you. And, like, that, first of all, let me just say that, that does not make any sense for that to one-hit KO you. Because, you know, shells are items, but they don't one-hit KO you. They're just, like, regular items. You know, you hit them and, you know, you just take a little knockback damage. This, it's basically kind of like the same thing. You get instant KO'd. And it's just, this stage is impossible to play on, and I hardly win on this stage. Like, I, I can do well on the other stages I, I mentioned. You know, I can do well on those stages, but this is, like, the only stage, and well, probably the second, and probably number two, like, 75M and Mario Brothers are, like, the only two stages, and all of Smash Brothers I just have a hard time playing on. And I hate this stage. I hate it, and, you know, it's, it sucks that it returned in Ultimate. And whenever I do have to play on the stage, I'm just going to turn on Final Destination or Battlefield. Like, this stage just does not work as a stage, and, you know, I'm, I'm glad it hasn't, you know, returned. I mean, well, returned in Smash 4. It has returned in Ultimate, but, yeah. Definitely number one is Mario Brothers. I hate this stage. I hate it. <laughs> 
anyways, um, that's my opinion on the worst Super Smash Brothers stages. Anyways, stay tuned for tomorrow when I talk about the best Super Smash Brothers stages. So anyways, uh, what are your guys' opinions? Do you guys agree with me on this list or do you guys don't? Tell me your guys' opinions in the comments down below. Tell me your guys' uh, wor uh, least favorite stages to play on. Let me know in the comments down below and I would love to hear it. Anyways, this has been Enigma, and peace. See you next time.